Hi, I'm Kemi, I'm a little lawyer. It's about 4 a.m. on June 2nd, 2018. I'm asking every Nigerian to please, to please tell the federal government to free my passport. To please tell the federal government of Nigeria to free my passport so I can go to the United States and get proper medical care for my post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms. I am slowly dying here. They have a health care strike. There are no psychotherapists. There are nobody to help me. The health care, even if it were available, is poor. I have benefits in the United States called Social Security benefits, where the U.S. government will take all my taxes that has been taken away to save for the future, to pay for my medical health and wellness. Instead, I have a GoFundMe that I'm asking people to donate to, and I'm running around trying to raise money for health care here that is almost non-existent. The U.S. government has something I can use, money that I worked for. I want to go to America and go to see my children and they can take care of me. But I can just get my health care. What did I do? You arrested me. You told me I post something about a pastor. I told you I didn't post anything. I got a new tip, but I did my job. You locked me up six months, three times. It's time to just let me go. The pastor has withdrawn his case. The case has been dropped. And the federal judge has still not closed my case in the federal court or given me my passport. What is it? What is it? Just let me go. You don't want me to do investigative journalism anymore. Fine. Let me leave Nigeria and go and get help. Constantly tapping my phone lines. Police is constantly following me. Surveillance left and right. I just need to leave. Please, everybody, start a, a campaign, whatever it is. I'm about to explode. Please help me. President Buhari, please call the federal judge. Whoever is behind all this, release my passport. Pastor Ibiomi, please call whoever. I cannot reach anybody. I am frustrated with my lawyers. I'm literally screaming on my lawyers. Enough is enough. Kemi Omalulu, a liar. 4 o'clock, June 2nd, 2018. My GoFundMe campaign is there. Please donate if you can. But the most important thing is I need to get tickets and I need to go. It's a lot of expenses, but even if people donate to me, they're still holding my vital document. The United States Embassy cannot give me a visa. My green card was literally given me to me 20 years ago by a president as an award for my drug abuse prevention work. And that was President Clinton. Everything expired while they locked me up six months, three times. Yeah, I have prison papers to renew my green card, but I just need my visa to enter. And then I can change everything when I get there, but I can't even travel. I can't, I don't have a passport. I've only been to the U.S. Embassy one time in my life. In 1983, when I traveled as a student, I had no reason to go there for anything because I'm a permanent resident in the U.S. I've never applied for citizenship because of the 
allegiance I have to this country and wanting to go into politics one day and then they'll tell you you can't apply, you can't run because you're a dual citizen. Now Nigeria has failed me. Thanks for watching.